Hamlin and um, we're sending as much positive energy as we possibly can. Hey, Rick, um, game like this, we've seen a lot of these. Like you say, in the era of the three-pointer, leads go away. It's almost a natural thing of the NBA. Regrouping can be one of the hardest things yeah. in the sport. Why does it say about a team that loses a 21-point lead, that's losing going into the fourth quarter, and then finds a way? Look, I, I, I know I've said this before, but if you have a 20-point lead in the first half, you can't think that that's just going to play out all the way through, especially against a very good team. Uh, and they damn near average 40 points uh, in the third quarter all season long. I mean, they're a big-time third-quarter team. We knew that going in. It, it was a whole lot better having a cushion you know, than, than it being like a six-point game and then them taking a 15-point lead. They, they do that to almost everybody uh, in the third quarter. Um, and it wasn't like a, a lack of... Um, effort or focus, uh, they were able to get into the bonus with, you know, just a little under eight minutes uh, in the third. So they're able to kind of like crawl the game back. Um, but we've been developing some resilience. You have to have that, some collective toughness on the road to be able to withstand a lot of different runs. Um, as Pat always calls it, you know, there's these five or six skirmishes during the course of the game you can't expect that one of the skirmishes is going to get you a win you have to you have to try to you know win as many of those skirmishes uh, as you can um, and so we we're able to rally uh, after that and and take an eight point lead and and kind of carry it uh, from there but there's a lot of different contributions I thought the second unit um, once they got settled um, you know late in the third and early in the fourth I thought uh, they were terrific um, you know, Vic and Gabe defensively with their energy and communication was just contagious and, and just kind of inspired everybody. Max had, had some really good plays there. Uh, and then um, Bam was just Mr. Reliable all game long. Uh, look, the Clippers are a very good defensive team. They can do a lot of different coverages, uh, much like us. Um, and they went to their switching lineup, um, and Bam was able to – you know, mostly on offensive rebounds uh, or pocket passes, he was able to to really uh, help us control the game from a, a paint standpoint. Um, and he and Tyler are just really developing a a beautiful chemistry together. Um, they're seeing a lot of different coverages. Um, they watch film together. Uh, they work together. Uh, you know, before and after practice, they know our uh, two-man combination with the two of them are, is very important, uh, and they know that they have to be able to find different ways to conquer all the different schemes that great players, uh, you know, um, that are required, and, and uh, um, you know, they earn those kind of different schemes. Excuse me. Defense stabilizing things for you guys in the fourth quarter. Yeah, um, and I thought that started uh, before that. Uh, you know, with Gabe and 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 Vic uh, up top, they were really good uh, in our zone, um, and we were able to stabilize our, our defense um, at the beginning of the fourth. Uh, and then Vic gave us just some really uh, impactful plays on both sides of the floor. Um, Defensively, he was sensational. Um, he just has electrifying quickness laterally, and you can see he's starting to get his confidence uh, um, in his health and, and his movement. Um, he's getting his burst back, and then at the beginning of the fourth, uh, his triggers were really good for us. Um, so it was good to see. And then once uh, once we were able to stabilize. Uh, at the beginning of the fourth, um, then we were able to just, uh, you know, play our game. So you haven't lost this season. Fram has 20 years old now, 7-0 now. Well, he's the leading force offensively. What, what's best? Yeah, I, I think what he's doing now, um, probably better than he ever has in his career, is he's reading uh, the defense and what's called for on each possession. And I think our guards, uh, Tyler, uh, um, you know, more than anybody uh, is getting him the ball. Um, so Bam's uh, scoring rate and finishing rate on assisted 
uh, opportunities uh, is exceptional. Um, and he's letting the execution and um, other guys help him get easy baskets. Uh, and then when you need him to go get one, now once he sees a bunch of easy ones go, then 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 he can get to a lot of different things. Um, but he's Mr. Reliable. You know, what, whatever we need to do defensively, he's able to do it in all the different coverages, all the different lineups. I played him a little bit more on the second unit uh, tonight because of their switching lineup. He's kind of the Swiss Army knife killer. Um, and he was just very... Uh, so very good IQ with his reads and, and not necessarily forcing or trying to like post up or or bully the, the switches. It was more um, done with uh, precision and ex- execution and, and the offensive rebounding efforts. You talked about that before about offensive rebounding. Speed. Yeah. It's offensive rebounding turning into immediate baskets. Yeah. Two minutes. I, you know, I learned that uh, early on as a young coach. Biggs, you, you get your head. I learned it from Pat to get your head under the rim. A lot of good things can happen, um, whether it's switching or not. Uh, the ball will find energy, and he was tracking uh, the misses. Um, but when they were switching, he was just making sure that he got his head under the rim um, to be available for a lot of those uh, relief points. And and those are those were important. You know, um, if he doesn't get those, maybe the Swiss Army knife switching could flatten us out. You know, maybe it turns a little bit more in their favor. Uh, but like I said, um, he could be the Swiss Army Knife killer, um, um, particularly the way he's developing uh, all the different ways that that you can uh, punish a defense um, by just being available and then finishing around uh, around that circle area. I think 18 of his 19 shots were in the paint. How much, how much more discipline is he now? Really disciplined, and he's, he's just reading – the possession and the scheme and what's called for on that particular possession better than I think he's ever done uh, over the course of his career. He's not like trying to go one-on-one and trying to force um, those kind of plays. Uh, He's making the defense have to feel a bunch of stress uh, by either guarding a two-man action with Jimmy or Tyler or Vic. Uh, Whatever the scheme is, he's He's got an incredible touch, you know, at the dots, and and that's been earned over, you know, hours and hours of of, of player development. Um, but the offensive rebounding was really key, you know, tonight. Uh, and he's just, you know, he's getting guys involved. He just he's just getting a a feel uh, for what to do, um, you know, in a particular moment that all the great players uh, eventually develop. All right, guys. Thank okay, you. thank you. Jack, come on.